Hiya, it's Goblin's Henchman here. Um, so I thought I'd do a very quick video to show you something that I pulled together quite recently. Essentially what it is, is another one of these spreadsheet adventure module templates. Um, the idea, if, you're, if you haven't seen it before, is that um, you can use a spreadsheet to present module information in a super compact fashion. So what I've done here is I've taken the Caves of, Caves of Chaos from Keep on the Borderlands, Borderlands, um, and I've basically added it as a background, the map at least, as a background to a spreadsheet. And then what I've done is resize the cells in the spreadsheet so they're small. And then I've added these, these little squares and labels. So the idea is that, um, for example, I've populated the, 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 the uh, items, um, the encounters in just the COBOL area of the map. So for example, if I hover over here, it tells you what would be in that encounter. Um, similarly there and over here and because it's a template I, I don't really want to do the whole thing um, for various reasons but uh, I won't dwell on that um, not because it's difficult particularly but um, anyway so it can be customized to anything you want um, for example um, this these ones are all just um, blank so you can add your own label and you know if you really wanted to recreate the whole Keep on the Borderlands, then it wouldn't actually take too long. You're probably talking about a minute per square if you've got your text ready. Um, so there you go. You can use it as you will. Do what you want. Um, just give some credits here. So I didn't draw this map. Um, the map was um, made by Alphonse H. Um, and it was from this, uh, this, this page here, which is from his blog, which is Mage, Mage of the Striped Tower. So he redrew the map. Um, if you want to be able to download it, um, if you go to my webpage, uh, goblin, goblinshenchmanwordpress.com, so here you go. If you go here, you'll see there's my, my page, and if you just click on that, download, and then click on the link that allows you to download it, you can get it from a Dropbox. Um, I suppose if I click on this, you'll see the, the, the source of the map itself. Uh, not that's particularly relevant to the post, but you know, I like to give proper credit to uh, the person who did the actual cartography and um, Alphonse has uh, various maps including a, a, a blank one for players where the secret passages aren't shown. Just jumping back to my my spreadsheet adventure module um, I've also got a section here for you know if you wanted to put in sort of block stats or any kind of other notes um, NPC notes or items and that sort of thing. That's basically it. Um, the idea is that uh, you can do this as a DIY um, project yourself. You can insert, if you want to use this concept generally, on my blog there's a, on my webpage, there's a, a link to a video that shows you how to make one of these. It's, it's pretty easy to do. I think for the DIY crowd it might suit a particular niche. Um, in fact, I've said this before, I'm surprised that uh, a lot of the mainstream big RPG publishers don't produce PDFs like this. Um, I know I'm using Excel, but because uh, that's convenient for me, because I don't have uh, Adobe Pro or anything, but there's no reason why you couldn't produce a map like this in Adobe. I believe it's all possible. And then insert these pop-ups so you could run the whole dungeon straight from your PC um, here without having to flip backwards and forwards through a PDF. It seems an incredibly simple and, and straightforward thing to do, but uh, still people don't um, aren't doing it, and I'm... I'm sort of hoping that maybe uh, someone will, and then hopefully everyone will realise it's a good idea. Anyway, I'm, I'm preaching it, but that's that's just the way it goes. So um, give it a try. Got any questions, just send me an uh, email or write to me on G+. I'll sort of lurk around there.